Hi Leo, welcome to your full blood moon in Scorpio. Love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. So Leo, so this full blood moon in Scorpio can be about things coming full circles. Full circle can also be, be about endings and new beginnings, transformation, uh, release, healing, forgiving, new beginnings or endings. So you think of Scorpio in the tarot is death, and it's also judgment. So it could be about decisions as well. All right. Final decisions, perhaps. All righty. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Male or Female, General Collective Reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely could switch it, flip it when you need to. Same goes for uh, Cross Watchers. Could be a reading for you. All right, Leo, hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. And show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So we have Sag and Aquarius here. So, so this could be a lucky time for some where um, we have new and full. So something could definitely could be coming full circle here for you, Leo, where a very, very lucky time for you. If someone could be getting ready to show you you know, you, the, their real, true, authentic self as well. Could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Hmm. Or this could be your energy, feeling really good, you know, authentic, true to yourself, lucky, and getting ready maybe to show someone how you're truly feeling or reverse, you know, if you need to. All right, so let's see here for Leo. Everything you need to know is down below, so you can check that out if you would like to. Your playlists are down there. While your May readings are out, I'll be single, be doing singles after this. If you're new here, I post every Monday, Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, all 12 zodiac time, uh, signs. And I do 12, uh, 8, oh my gosh, <laughs> long week, 8 readings a week. A lot of different readings if you like a variety of love readings, new moon, full moon, money, career, spirit messages. Um, check out the channel a lot. Readings out there for May. So we have here soulmate relationship, Leo. New rom romance with a spiritual basis to hear for you now. Oh my goodness. And this one fell out. Tranquility. Take time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self care. So, Leo, if you've been worried about a soulmate relationship, it could be that finally, finally, this is coming together and. It's like luck is on your side because now somebody is able to show you who, they're who they truly are. And now you can finally rest your mind, body, and soul. Intertwine, maybe even through many, many lifetimes. Wow, Leo. So I don't know if this is somebody you have connected with or have been connected with. But well, let's see what else we need to know for Leo. Leo, I do have another channel. If you are interested in Twin Flames, I started about a month ago. I just started doing the Zodiac readings. I don't post as much over there. I do one, um, one round through the Zodiac a month. And I also do a masculine reading, feminine reading, a spiritual guidance for separation, and also a 5D conversation. Very interesting reading. So you can check that out. Link is below if you'd like to. Your reading is up there. Um, I don't remember the title right now, but uh, you can check that out if you'd like to. And your singles reading is out. I do post a lot of readings here. I just put out your singles and spirit messages so you can check those out as well. Heart chakra. Leo. Holy crap. Somebody's opening their heart here. I just heard I am ready to open my heart to you, Leo. That's what I just heard. Wow. Leo, I'm going to cry. Oh my God. Whew. And the third eye chakra. So not only is hearts opening up and ready to give my give their heart to you, but very spiritual as well. This is a third eye chakra. Aware, enlightened, spiritual energy here. Wow. So we have four and six, which is that 10 energy, a full circle completion, and then one new beginnings. Six, very healing, balanced energy. Four, Foundation, basis, stability. I see now, Leo, and I'm ready to open up my heart to you. <laughs> I just heard, I see you, Leo, I see you. Are they watching you on social media? Do you have uh, platforms where they can watch or see you? 
that's kind of what I just felt. I just heard, I see you, Leo. I'm watching you. <laughs> and I'm ready to give you my heart, open my heart to you, Leo. Oh my God. I feel like you can finally put your mind at ease, Leo. Whatever is going on here. All right. All right, Leo. Let's see. Let's see what is going on for you, Leo. Who? Leo. All right. One more shuffle for Leo. Full blood moon in Scorpio. Some of you may have a Scorpio moon or someone you're dealing with. High Priestess. There's that spiritual connection, Leo. High Priestess. Queen of Swords. King of Wands. There you are, Leo. Leap of Faith here on the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to put that over here. Someone's getting ready to take a Leap of Faith. Let's see. We have the Chariot. Oh, forward movement. Positive forward movement. King of Pentacles. So we have the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles. I don't didn't feel like there was multiple people here, but it could be, Leo, that you maybe waited for this person and you've decided to start dating other people. Five of Cups, Disappointment, Sadness, Lust, Regret, Magician, Manifesting a New Beginning, Knight of Pentacles. Someone's been taking a long time, but we have the Knight to the King. Six of Wands, success and victory here. I almost feel like um, Leo, Leo, Leo. This is your energy with the King of Wands. So I believe that's you. Now, King of Pentacles could be somebody you're dealing with, and maybe they were married at one time, but I kind of see them. Yeah, there was sadness, less regret over that, but moving away from that. Slow walking towards you, very slow walking. I mean, the Queen of Swords can be a divorced energy, um, somebody cold and calculating, so they could have been involved with somebody cold and calculating um, as well, doesn't have to be though. But coming in here, Knight of Pentacles, been very long time, very slow moving to manifest a new beginning, very successfully here. Leap of Faith right there with the Fool energy. And the Star, Divinely Guided Energy, two cards of Aquarius, actually three, three cards of Aquarius, hope, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, you always wished and hoped this person would make their way back to you or towards you or come towards you in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like it's actually happening now, Leo. It's like your wish is coming true, wish granted, very healing. So somebody could have had a lot of healing to do of their heart. But now it's like, like I said, I see you, Leo. I healed my heart and now I'm ready to take a leap of faith. And give you my heart. Oh my goodness. Look at that Ten of Cups underneath too. Total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. So I do see Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo, I feel that's you. Or it could be Leo, Sag, Aries. Another fire sign. Virgo or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Cancer. Gemini, Virgo. This is Taurus for me. Or again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be no communication for quite a time here with the High Priestess, but again, there's that soulmate, spiritual energy, trusting intuition, higher knowing, third eye chakra. And this could be, you know, someone's gained the clarity they needed here to cut things out of their life no longer serving them. That Queen of Swords energy, very blunt, direct, to the point, not beating around the bush either. Right, so let's get, so definitely manifesting a new beginning. It's been a long time waiting here. Long time coming with this Knight of Pentacles. But coming as a knight does cross the finish line as a king. Same, Leo, right in the middle of your spread. This could be somebody that uh, maybe you worked with at one time, or they work um, banking, financing, or something like that as well. Could be moving. Maybe someone had to move, moving or traveling involved. But chariot is positive movement forward. Success, victory, balance. Someone very ambitious to come in. It also could be, Leo, if you were dating somebody else, you decide, okay, well, it's been so long. Um, it could have been five years for some, five to six years or maybe months. But I'm feeling a long time here, uh, Leo. And you're like, you know what? I'm done. And maybe you started dating somebody else. This Queen of Swords, it could be them 
getting the information that, oh, Leo is dating somebody else here, and here they come rushing in, Leo, and manifest a new beginning with you? To ready to show themselves, show you how they truly feel. I'm ready to show you my heart, what's in my heart. All right, what else? The moon. So a lot of secrets they haven't told you. Um, I don't feel secrets as in a bad thing. Um, that's my cat using a scratch post. Um, it could be secrets of how they truly felt. What's this one here? Three of swords, heartache and pain. So if they did go through, you know, divorce or heartache and pain or something like that, I don't think they ever told you the full details of what happened here. We do have the moon, which is Pisces again. I think they thought about telling you what was going on if they were divorcing or coming out of a relationship, you know, what they were going through, but uh, I don't think they ever really did. Eat up cups, yeah, something they walked away from here. Two of Pentacles. They had to rebalance their energy through this change. They were kind of like discombobulated all over the place. Not so sure if you'd want to be in that kind of energy, Leo. Now we have the Page of Pentacles. So that's an offer. So we have the Page, the Knight, the King, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody single, Leo, and independent, and doing well for themselves. So they're definitely juggling around the idea here of um, maybe coming back and revealing to you all the heartache and pain things they went through in what was going out with them. They never told you with that moon energy deep feelings as well feminine energy but that is also about intuition higher knowing we are talking about the full moon full circle all right so what else hmm. judgment i was just gonna i was just say full moon and scorpio and look at judgment scorpio i just flipped over in my hand and what's this one ten of wands yeah somebody made a decision here to lay down heavy, heavy burdens they were going through here, but they had to do the healing work first, Leo. They had to do their healing work first. They had to regain their balance, their stability, their life. Judgment here, which is Scorpio, is about, you know, healing, forgiving, releasing the past, life review, relationship review, final decision. Could be resurrection, could be past life energy. You've had past lives with this person as well, and I have mentioned that over here. Someone's laid down a heavy burden, but again, they're moving away from that energy with the Six of Swords. Hmm, all right, Leo. So with the Four and the Six, you would have Eight, which, um, no, that's Ten of Swords. So again, an ending, an ending. So let's see. And if you take the Four from the Six, is Two of Swords, which is about that decision. What else do we need to know here for Leo? about this situation. So full moon in Scorpio right there. So full circle completion. There's been healing, releasing. Someone definitely completed a cycle here and now a new beginning is about to happen, a transformation and someone opening their heart and they see clearly now, Leo, and you can finally put your mind at ease. Wow. Wow, Leo. Okay. Luck is on your side, like your dream's about to come true here. Three of Cups, celebrating, dating, getting to know, reuniting. Page of Swords, showing up. Um, well, I was thinking Third Eye Chakra here, but Page of Swords, Aquarius Energy. Definitely um, keeping tabs maybe on one another on social media, but also this honest, truthful co communication conversation about to happen here as well, which brings the transformation. So Butterfly is right there. We have Six of Cups, which is a returning of someone, Leo, coming back. Past life energy. For what? Soulmate union. Two of Cups. Can't make it up. Look at that full moon energy. You've been waiting for this, Leo. The Three of Wands. Wow. Pleasure and love. Sun. There you are, Leo. Happiest card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, growth, expansion. Love, peace, harmony, healing. Soulmate, Twin Flame. Yep. Wow, Leo. Well, well now, Leo. Someone's coming in here to finally, 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 they completed a cycle. Finally coming in here to reveal their heart. They see you, Leo. They see you. <laughs> they see who you are to them now, Leo. All right. We're going to get ready here to show you how they truly feel. 
All right, what's this? Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. So never stop being you for anyone. Still be who you truly are and believe in that. And I think this person believes in you and what you do and your magic. So don't worry that they won't. What else here for Leo? Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths. That's Leo energy, attractiveness, and power. You may compare yourself like to their ex, or maybe you're worried they're going to compare you to their ex or something like that. But you are magical. You, you are unique in who you are. So you, you cannot be compared. So don't worry about that. Surrender to what is. This it definitely, if you haven't checked out my Twin Flame reading on the Twin Flame channel for the Divine Feminine, it, this is the thumbnail. It's almost the exact same picture here. And it's definitely about the feminine accepting it for what it is and open to what the universe has to give her. Flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation. Compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So it could be that you did accept this connection for what it was and you did decide, well, I'm going to start dating other people and maybe they got wind of that and now they're rushing in. I mean, we did see that chariot energy. doesn't always work that way. One more here for Leo. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Now, this could have been this person, you know, trying to please everybody but themselves. See, surrender worry because you have nothing but peace and harmony coming in here with tranquility, putting your mind at ease. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo. Wow, wow. I was going to say, I wish I was a Leo, but you know what? I am a Leo, so I like this reading. So, Leo, wishing you the best. Again, you can check out your readings uh, playlist are below. You can also um, check out the Twin Flame reading channel if you would like to as well. So, I'm wishing you the best, Leo, and I shall see you for your singles reading, which will be coming out on um, Monday on the 23rd. So, you can check that out if you'd like to. And we're heading into June already. Before you know it, Leo, it's going to be your birthday. So wishing you the best, Leo, and I shall see you next time.